Hi, I'm Zachary Cowan, the author of the Steady Daily Books, and thanks for joining me for a look at Doctrine and Covenants section 47. This is a fantastic little short section, and it's all about church history. John Wimmer's been called to be the historian of the church, and as we read in the in the heading, he didn't really want to be. He was a little nervous about this. He was comfortable being a scribe for Joseph for Revelations, but as far as like seeking out and recording the history, that that he found a little intimidating. And so he said, if God really wants me to do this, Joseph, you'll reveal it to me. And of course, all callings that intimidate us are like that. They're scary at first, but when we know that it's what God wants us to do, then we can go forward with confidence and courage to do those things. So just consider, in your life, you've heard hundreds of church history stories. How have these stories impacted you and affected you? And if you want to learn more about the writing of these and how this comes and how the Lord views church history, well, let's go ahead and look. So pause your video and check out Doctrine and Covenants section 47, verses 1 through 4. What does the Lord say about church history, why it should be recorded, and how it should be recorded? See you in a minute. All right, one of the things we notice is that God wants a regular history kept and he wants it continually kept. Those are the big problems that anybody who's ever trying to write a history faces. And John Whitmer sometimes did good and sometimes struggled just like all of us. That sometimes we're good at recording our personal histories and the things that happen and sometimes we're not. But check out the promise that is given to John and to us, to anybody who's wanting to record down these spiritual events and experiences. In verse four, we're told, that he will be able to write by the Comforter, that the Comforter will help us bring ideas and things to our mind to help us do this. I have felt that and experienced it. And I know that you have, that as we read these inspired histories, it motivates us. And as we try to write and capture down things that have happened to us, then we see just how much God is in our life. So today, here's the challenge. You can either go read some church history, like in Saints, or you can go write some church history. What are spiritual experiences in your own life that maybe you have failed to record and to write down and to really savor for future people? I know that in my life, I have missed out and probably forgotten tons of incredible experiences because I failed to write them down. I also have tons of experiences that I've written down and I'm grateful for that. So let's go to a challenge today. Go study some church history, like in Saints Volume 1 or 2, or Go write some church history from your own life. What events have you had happen to you that you haven't recorded yet? All right, we'll see you next time.